Today we're going to talk about how to transport a firearm in California legally and we're going to go through all the little caveats because there are some things that might get you hung up and I'll give you a quick little too long didn't watch version first and then I'll go through in depth the best practices that I have and the legal ways to transport any type of firearm in California. To get everything out of the way first, if you want to not really know the law but just know how to always no matter what be safe here is the simplest answer on how to transport a firearm of any type in California. Unloaded in a locked container, that's it. Now we're gonna define what unloaded is, what a locked container is, school zones and what they have to affect. We're gonna talk about rifles, shotguns, handguns and pistols, and then registered assault weapons and the legal requirements of all of those. So we're gonna talk about what unloaded is first. So now this gun here, this gun is unloaded. I have an empty magazine and no round in the chamber. This gun is considered unloaded. I can have an empty magazine in the gun that's still unloaded. I can have loaded magazines right next to the gun sitting in the, in the case like that, still considered unloaded. However, if I put a loaded mag into the gun or if I put a round into the chamber, that gun is considered loaded. So you got that? Same thing would go for this AR pistol or an AR-15 rifle. If I had a round in the chamber or a round in the magazine that is inserted into the gun, that would be considered loaded. However, if I just have a loaded magazine next to the gun, that is fine. Ammunition can be stored with the gun, just not in the gun, if that makes sense. Now, we're going to talk about what a locked container is. Some people might think that when you hear the words locked container, that that means it has to be in some sort of steel case or in some sort of lockbox safe anytime you want to drive around. Like you do not need to take my entire gun safe with me in order to be considered a locked container. A locked container can actually just be something as simple as a box with a cable wrapped around it so that you can't access the gun. Even a soft case with two zippers that have been secured closed with a locking device, that could be considered a locked container. Basically, you need the container itself to be locked. People commonly ask, what if I put a cable lock through the gun? Locking the gun. That does not count because the law requires a locked container in some instances. So what a locked container is, the container or cartridge or device or whatever that you are containing the gun in needs to be locked so that it cannot be opened or accessed. Common question people have is, does my glove box count or does my center utility console count? Those actually don't count. Those lost case law that said that the utility compartment and glove box are not considered valid locked containers. However, the trunk of your vehicle can actually be a locked container if you first lock the trunk and then also there's no way for it to be accessed from the inside of the cab. So if you have one of those center console pull downs, that needs to also be locked if you're able to access the trunk from there. So we've talked about what unloaded is, we've talked about locked containers, we've talked about the types of containers and the trunks of vehicles as locked containers. Now, we're gonna move on to pistols and how you need to safely transport them. Now, keep in mind, because no gun laws actually make sense, this gun here and this gun here are both considered pistols and need to be transported the same way. They need to be unloaded and they need to be in a locked container at all times during transport unless you have a CCW and your specific gun is legally on your permit and at that point it doesn't really matter to you. Those guns must be unloaded in locked containers. Rifles or shotguns. Now rifles or shotguns, they simply need to be transported unloaded. That's it. Now this gun, you can see that there's nothing in the chamber. It's got no loaded magazine in it. I could also put an empty magazine in this gun. This is still considered unloaded. I could put that in my truck, in my car, in my vehicle. As long as I'm not brandishing it or carrying it, that is legal to do. All you have to do is not have it loaded and not have it physically in your hands in the attempt that you are carrying it for it to be legal. We'll talk about school zones in a second because some things do change with those. So to sum up rifles and shotguns and other long guns, unloaded, that's it. However, if you have what's considered a registered assault weapon, for example purposes, we're gonna pretend like this gun here is a registered assault weapon with either a bullet button or a standard mag release, like back in the early 2000s ban. 
If this gun was registered with the state of California as an assault weapon, I would have to at all times, whenever I'm transporting this gun to or from a designated legal location to do so, I would have to have it in a locked container unloaded. Now, you might ask yourself, how do I know if I have a registered assault weapon? Well, if you don't think you have a registered assault weapon, you probably don't. Registering an assault weapon was something that was closed window period of time back in 2018 when you had to register your gun as an assault weapon with the state. That gun most likely still has a bullet button on it, and that gun is considered a registered assault weapon. If you did not register it as an assault weapon, you do not need to transport it at all times unloaded in a locked container. With transporting assault weapons that have been registered with the state as such, you're also only allowed to take them to or from designated locations like a shooting range, like to your friend's house, like to a gun shop. You can't necessarily legally take a stop anywhere along the way. You can go to the range, but let's say you have to stop for gas. That's technically not really a designated location where it's legal to possess that gun. So you get into a little bit of a weird area where I personally, if I had a registered assault weapon, would only recommend you go to and from a legal location to have that gun. We've talked about pistols. We've talked about long guns. We've talked about registered assault weapons. Pistols, unloaded lock container. Rifles and shotguns and other long guns, unloaded. Registered assault weapons, unloaded in a locked container. Okay, now here's the thing about school zones, which we talked about how you could legally carry all these guns, and there's different ways. However, within a school zone or around schools in California, you have to have your guns unloaded in a locked container. So while this would be a legal way for me to carry this gun unloaded just sitting in my back seat, however, if I get pulled over while carrying this or while having this gun in my car unloaded in my back seat, and it's not in a locked container while I'm too close to a school, I'm violating the law, which gets a little sketchy. So my best practices and my personal recommendation would be any time you are transporting any firearm in the state of California, unloaded, locked container. If you have a trunk of a vehicle, throw them all in the trunk, that's great, keep them unloaded. If you don't have a trunk, you're gonna to wanna to get some sort of soft case or some sort of hard case that you can lock so that it cannot be accessed. Really, my personal recommendation is always gonna be just to have them unloaded in a locked container. However, you can make that own decision for yourself. If you have any questions, let me know because things can be a little complicated sometimes. You might have some questions that I maybe didn't cover and I answer pretty much and respond to pretty much every question in the comment section below. So if you have any questions, like always, let me know. If you wanna support the channel, just drop a like, subscribe, whatever it is that you wanna do, leave a comment, everything helps. I appreciate all your kind words, follow me on Instagram, whatever. But as always, have fun, be safe, stay dangerous, peace.